Hello and welcome to the Brunswick Middle School Music and Information Night video edition. The intent of this video is to help with introductions, what to expect in each music class, and how to go about choosing your music class for your students' sixth grade year here at BMS. First, we have some faces that you'll see around the building. Mrs. Palchesco, our BMS principal. Here at BMS, we have a grade level principal as well. And for sixth grade, that is Mrs. Thompson. Students also get a grade level counselor that will follow them through their middle school years. And for sixth grade this year, it'll be Mrs. Bootsier. We also have a music staff here um, made up of many teachers for band, choir, and orchestra. On the screen, you see what they teach for the sixth grade year. Your student will have at least one of these teachers in their sixth grade class next year here at BMS. So the reason for this video and selection is that students are required to take a music class during their sixth grade year here at Brunswick Middle School. So on your screen is a sample schedule of a sixth grade student at BMS. All students have the four core classes, math, social studies, science, and English language arts. They will also have physical education for a semester, art for a quarter, and coding for a quarter. In the other off-team spot that they have, they will take a music class for the entire year. They will also have lunch, and then Pride Time is a time dedicated to intervention and enrichment here at BMS, so students are working with their core teachers um, to help improve in different areas. The three options for a sixth grade student to join are choir, orchestra, or band. Choir is singing, learning music through using the student's voice. They work on um, various types of music from different cultures, pop music and folk music, as well as some classical pieces. The choir teachers ask that you come to class with a willingness and open mind because it is vulnerable to use your voice to make music. For orchestra, students can play the violin, viola, cello, or bass. So all those string instruments are played by plucking the string or by using the bow. Students will get to choose which instrument they play, and they do come in all sizes. So it doesn't matter if your student might be on the shorter side or the taller side, there will be an instrument that um, they will be fitted for in the fall to make sure it is the appropriate size and comfortable for them to play. In band, students use air to play their instrument. In sixth grade, they start off first semester by playing either the flute, clarinet, trumpet, trombone, or baritone. In the fall, students will be tested by the band teachers um, and recommend them for the best fit instrument for them. Later in the year, students will be able to switch over to other instruments, but they must start off playing one of these five instruments. Please do not rent an instrument just yet. Students will be sized in the fall for the appropriate size orchestra instrument because they are growing quite rapidly at this time. So if they get sized in the spring, it might be too small for them come the fall. For band instruments, again, students will be tested in class those first few weeks of the school year and band teachers will recommend the best band uh, instrument for your student. The two uh, local music stores that we have our Reading Music, which is here in Brunswick uh, near Applebee's, and Royalton Music Center, which is just up the road in North Royalton um, on Royalton Road. Both of them work closely with the music staff here at BMS and do deliver to the school. They also both run deals for the first three months, and we want you to take advantage of those rental deals when your student is actually learning to play the instrument in the fall. If you happen to have an old instrument at home, please make sure you take it to the music store or bring it in and reach out to um, the band or orchestra teacher to, to check it out to make sure that it is in playable condition for your student in the fall. We do recommend renting instruments over buying. Some of the Amazon deals do look enticing. However, they aren't the greatest quality and can be frustrating for your student to learn how to play um, this new skill on. 
In addition, orchestra instruments, as I've mentioned, grow and have different sizes. So if your student is not a full size violin, you'll end up buying three violins rather than just renting um, at that same cost. And the music stores just swap out for no additional charge. So it is now time to make your student's music selection. Students need to have this decision made by Friday, March 8th, and have that Google form completed. This Google form will be used by the counselors to schedule them for their class next year. If you have multiple students entering the sixth grade, please complete one Google form submission per student. The link to this Google form can be found at the end of this video via a QR code in the comment section of this YouTube video, as well as linked in your student's uh, newsletter from their elementary school principal. So we do have a couple frequently asked questions. No, your student does not need private lessons to start. Uh, our teachers assume that your students know nothing about playing the instrument, and that's where we like to start them from. Once we get farther in the year, students are welcome to um, take private lessons if they are either struggling or really exceeding and enjoying, but they do not need private lessons to be in band or orchestra or choir. The grading process in every class is that um, there will be various performance and non-performance based assignments. And we do believe that every student can be successful in music classes as long as they are willing to try their best. The only out of school time required is that um, students are asked to practice at home to keep up their skill and reinforce um, those new skills and ideas that they're learning through their music class. They do have outside of school performances a couple of times a year, and those dates will be shared in the fall via your student's music teacher. If you are someone who um, needs help affording instruments, please reach out to a music teacher. We will be glad to assist you. Um, we do have a limited supply of school instruments. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to any music teacher. Um, on the screen are the designated ones for choir, orchestra, and band. And then Mrs. Boutier's contact information is there as well as she will be your student's counselor in the fall. Thank you for watching this video. We are excited to have you and your student as part of our BMS music department. Have a great day.